I personally support Beto, reason being because Ted Cruz has been in the Senate for a while and he hasn't really done anything to change policies in Texas that people don't support or do support. And Beto's just there, he has a message to send and he's really putting it out there that he wants change in the state. Like in social media being like such a being such an easy way to get your message across that doesn't require you to like visit a place or like hold a, like a town hall meeting. As students at CHS, we all see whenever we look through Instagram that Beto is the one that has been more active on social media. I look at Beto's social media all the time and I see a lot of people supporting him and he tries to put that on social media because he tries to reach out to the youth. And I think like, because it's so easy to use that, that's why it's posing such like a big component of how campaigns are focusing on their ads. And with Beto having advertisements like in his kitchen or with the people, he's making more of an appeal to the younger generation and minorities through social media. And I can tell that and he'll support him just being with anyone and showing that he believes in diversity. Even if he still loses, he's going to have a lasting impact on Texas, even though they're a red state. Yes, definitely, because as, uh, for example, people our age, we're probably going to be voting in the next few elections. There have been a couple of studies shown mm -hmm. that like how like the youth group from like I think like 18 to 24 is like increasingly disenfranchised by the party by the platforms of both parties. And he wants to appeal to us to not just like support himself now, but support the future of the De Democratic Party. So I think like using social media as a point for you to like really get your message across in a way that can connect to young voters, I think is a really it's a really big part of it.